the biggest tasks that you will have when you enter office is distributing a vaccine. Your team has started to meet with the Trump administration to learn of their plans as you are set to inherit this task. Are you satisfied with the current plans that are underway for distributing that vaccine? Do you feel that the federal government is doing enough at this point? And what steps do you think need to be taken between now and when those first vaccines go out? Well, uh, there's a lot more that has to be done. They've clued us in on their planning on how they plan to distribute the actual vaccine to the various states. But there is no detailed plan that we've seen anyway as to how you get the vaccine out of a container into an injection syringe into somebody's arm. And it's going to be very difficult for that to be done in this very expensive proposition. For example, you know, we agree with their priorities that they've laid out so far. I do, at least. My team is looking at it, of dealing with first responders and, uh, and those in nursing homes and in home care, uh, the first people on the list. But we also have to realize that we're in a situation where there has to be some equity in the way this is, is distributed. And that requires, for example, right now we're in a situation where you have, uh, you know, the leading cause of death for all Americans this week is, uh, is COVID-19. But blacks and Latinos are three times as likely to die if they get COVID-19. And so the communities of color, it's a, it's a mass casualty event. And so we've got to figure out how we make sure we get the vaccine to those communities. Delivering the large amounts of the vaccine to the Walmarts and, the, uh, and, and other major drug chains is, does not get you into a lot of these neighborhoods. And it doesn't guarantee that it gets around. So we've got a lot of work to do. And, uh, and there has to be the, the equity side of this has to be an important part of distribution. In addition to that, the cost of actually getting the serum into an injection, into a needle, and then somebody's arm costs a lot of money. It takes a lot of people. It takes a lot of folks to be able to get that done. And we have to have a much better way than we've seen thus far as to how it's distributed. In some states, like the governor of Utah say, just deliver to the capital, I can take care of it in our conversation. Well, that could be true. But in large states like California, Texas, Illinois, Florida, et cetera, it's, it's, it's not that easy. There has to be a overall plan. That's what we're working on right now. And that's why I ask uh, uh, Dr. Fauci to stay on and to be my chief advisor on this issue, but also to uh, be part of the COVID team. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.